wanted to talk about the key words. There are some others that might have been added. Um, and some of these only occur once or twice, but I thought they were important enough to put down anyway. Um, let me just mention the ones and classify them a little bit. The ones that I think deal with moral evaluation um, are agathos and aiskune and aiskros. I, I think you'll you'll see these themselves. You would, I'm sure, come up with the same grouping. Um, moral evaluation there. And then definitely farther down, um, uh, suke, down toward the end. And, um, oh, I'm going back up to epinos also. Sorry, epinos. Epinos there, right, yeah. They're all moral evaluation. And then another category I would say is emotion and more mental state. And the, those, I would say, on air. It's hard to categorize on air, but I think... Uh, you talk about the the a man a, a man this this speech is about males it's about how males behaved in the moment of battle and he's he's describing that then also lupe down farther down which is uh, uh lupe and ponos are two aspects of the same thing lupe i think is is more of a um uh is more of it's used for grief more in the funeral oration ponos is like actual physical pain. Um, and then also thonos um, and uh, anger and jealousy. And then um, charis, charis, I think, um, which has many different meanings. Or did I actually have that here? Charis. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Okay. And that has a variety of different meanings. Um, we'll see. It, it can mean a favor you do somebody or gratitude for the favor. But it can also mean joy, and it can also mean cardis in the sense of grace and charm, as you've got there. Um, I could have added uh, terms of fear here also, deos and phobos. And I could also have added um, uh, eros, 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 which is, you know, um, passionate love, um, which occurs in this one passage about the city becoming eros, die of the city. Then um, the final category, or the there are miscellaneous words, but the final category is the city, and that's polis. Polis occurs many times in the speech. Um, arche, back from the beginning, arche, um, which is with a chi. Uh, no, that's arche. Maybe I didn't put this on the list. I meant to put arche in the sense of empire with a key, with a chi. Um, arche mean, can mean beginning, but in this speech it means uh, chi. Oh, arche, autarches, I'm sorry, autarches. And um, uh, to, to, autarches should have been back with emotion and mental state, as should gnome. I'm sorry, I didn't uh, include those here. Um, anyway, um, and then polis is arche and nomos. Um, nomos meaning law, and then apragmon. So, mostly um, the, the, it's the categories I want you to think of. The categories are, and, and these categories continue throughout most of the parts of the speech, the categories of moral evaluation, um, the categories of human emotion and, um, and uh, mental states, and the relation, their relationship to the city. Those three things uh, are the topic of really of all all four of these sections in some way. Um, okay, so, um, and the question is, how does he translate them? Um, 